hear us. Can they hear us? I hope not. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Ted's not here. Hopefully like, you can hear do, us. Do, do. We're here. Oh. Uh, no. Wait, what do we do? What? what I was going to say, Effie. I don't want to be Effie. I'm just trying to. I do not have the fashion sense. <laughs> Effie. She's from the, the Hunger Games lady. Elizabeth oh. Banks, Hunger oh. Games. Right. The names. She's like the dresser. Yeah, we've always called you the Elizabeth Banks of the Oh, yeah? Trophy. Yeah. That, you know, that is true. That is oh, true. Oh, it's <laughs> It's just Adam. Um, that's uh, so we have a we have a fill in substitute producer today, Deb. So if you hear us, you know, communicating with our producer, we like to call them out. Yes. Not Scapes, but Deb. I like and Deb. She laughs at all our jokes. What's your uh, internet name? What's your e name? Morgana. 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 That's right. She's Morgana. Morgana. She's an Arthurian fan. Someone I think. knows my real name. <laughs> that means they have true power. <laughs> Saddam. Saddam. True yeah. Name. He's trying to say nice, mm -hmm. it's Adam. That's a, just a really strong contraction. <laughs> Abram's looking fine today. That's every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, wait, wait until I got my uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the professor, I Professor Andrew. Fine. Oh, you brought that. Oh, good. I like that. This is for the unboxing. It's like, yeah, it's the explaining Where segment, we edu right? educate you. I have to be less snarky about the it, though. The explaining. That was Steve's instructions. All right. Um, what about me? I was pretty snarky. I know. You too. <laughs> Gotta keep it. Oh, I didn't bring my sound effects. Um, okay. Well, let's go at least to kind of the game. Big game. <laughs> Small this guy says he, I should put my hood over my face with the eyes on top of the hood. <laughs> I won't be able to see the game then, sorry. Today I'm the driver. I don't have anything to wear on my head. <laughs> that works. There you go. That's good. Well, that's like a, that's an actual hat and trove, so that's canon. Yeah. That's proper canon. Is it? It yeah. is. Yeah, there's a... There's that's a, true. Yeah. Okay, so what do we... Uh, I guess we should introduce ourselves, shouldn't we? That's the normal no. thing? Normal thing we to do? We don't do that anymore. Oh, we don't? No. got our okay. names below us. Fine. Whatever. Well, why don't you tell us your name anyway? My name is Adam. Apparently, is Effie, and I'm the lead designer. And today, I'm driving for Ted. Ted is not here today. He's driving on my character. Yeah, I'm playing Twixler. Yeah, he's so trying to be me. That's true. Well, you know, you know it's that's hard. all it's the hard. time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, Gildor. That is very true. What do you say? So Adam normally, is a I sit there. Common, nice on the outside, inside. Oh, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> but is it in pain, rage, or sadness? That's the real question. <laughs> all of the above. All. <laughs> Should we go to the big cam? Let's go to the big yeah. cam. Let's go to the game cam. Take us away, Morgana. Okay. What should I do? Boom! No. Wrong one! Trova boxed! That's for later. Spoilers. Look at that Gonda. That's right. So today I am the Twixler. You're the Gonda. But today, it's not about the Gonda. No, it's no. not. What's it's it about? It's about the... What's about? Primordial dragons. Oh, is it? And is that what it's about? Gems. Whoa. And all sorts of good stuff. Maybe I should jump on a primordial Maybe dragon. Maybe you should do that. Maybe. Which Maybe. one should I jump on? Maybe you should on? do the red. The There's red three, the cool. red one? All right. I'm, I'm going to go on a red primordial dragon. Whoa. Whoa. So why is this cool, Adam? Why well, is this cool? You're going to explain why things are cool. Well, hold on. First, I'm going to give myself 100 jumps. So, this is cool. Oh, cool. Well, first, it looks good. It looks good. So that's one reason it's cool. Another reason it's cool is that it brings us back to the glory days of Dragonfire, where it can oh, shoot many. It's and and it's really really extra convenient because you can just hold the button down and he just keeps blasting fire out of his face at your foes. And <laughs> yes, enjoy. Uh, it does something else passively, I believe. What it does it do passively? With gems. Why are you? Yeah, uh, it does something with gems. Up. It does something with gems, I as I understand. That. Oh, it doesn't show oh, there, it, does oh, it? It does. It did. Does it? Yep. What did it show? Just read it out loud. Oh, oh, sorry. He is the keeper of the world fire. Oh, that's not the part you mean. Uh, you once unlocked, he grants 10% of your total fire gem power. Oh, so nice. what that means is that any gems you have equipped here, there are none at this time. Right. We'll any gems there. equipped here, uh, it will receive 10% of that total aggregate stat, and you'll get that stat as well. So it's like a boost linear to all the gems that you currently have in that color. So let's see, one hand pull So one these on. guys... Is that a fire gem? That's a fire gem. These guys are not going to be easy to get. We sort of expect you to... It's gonna... You have to get lucky. You have to spend a lot of time. Um, we don't expect in the first month, even, of Mantle of Power that many people will even have one Primordial Dragon. This is a long-term chase, much like the Ganda is. It's something that you get lucky. Uh, while you're hunting for other things, you sort of are able to get it. So, Adam, you socketed a... I did. I socketed a fire gem. Fire gem? This is the explosive epilogue. It's one of the generic uh, ability type gems. It adds uh, an explosion effect to enemies that you kill. But it also gives stats. And as you level it up, you get more stats. And you can see 
on your Dargan here, your angry internet Dargan, that you're getting a portion of the stats that came from that gem. And so all of the fire gems that you socket, uh, you will get a portion of that, and you'll see it right there, right there on your dragon. So let's let's start from basics on gems. We'll loop back around to the rest of the primordial dragons. You okay. have a little teaser. Right. I'm gonna um, stay on so this one though. You better stay on that one. <laughs> Is it? Um, so. Gems. How do you get gems, Adam? Uh, well, you pick them up, Andrew. All right. Let's go. Let's go pick some up. Let's go to the hub. Okay. And we'll let's go that. pick up. You pick them up from the corpses of your. So actually, foes. it looks like we have something. Oh, you're in the um, CS world right now. Yeah. Oh, I am, aren't so I? Why don't you go to a real hub, not this? Not the fake hub. Not the fake not hub. The secret let's hub. Go to a real hub. <laughs> um, um, how that happened? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> there he goes. There, there he goes. So, Kilika, Mantle of Power, is there a tutorial to explain it more? There's a blog post, Steve wrote that up, um, but if you don't want to listen to that, or read that, you want to listen to us, we are going to explain it all to you right here today. We're going to talk about gems, we're going to talk about Mantle of Power. Um, so one of the big things coming in Mantle of Power is this whole new adventure tower, including a bunch of new elemental worlds, um, the portals of which Adam was just looking at. So if you want to get some gems, um, you want to go to elemental worlds, if you want to get... Uh, key fragments for doing the Shadow Tower, you go to the Prime Adventure Worlds, which are the ones you've been used to. It has a mix mash of all the different biomes in the game, um, whereas these Elemental Worlds have a handful of biomes and are sort of set up a little bit differently. Where are you headed, Adam? Maybe I should go to the Igneous Island. Let's go to the Igneous Island. Let's I've get got, some fire gems. I've got that sweet you've, dragon. You've got your Primordial Dragon. He wants some fire gems, don't he? That's right. Uh, <laughs> Here I am. Oh! So this oh. looks pretty dangerous. There's a lot Maybe you of lava. Have crafted, uh, let's go craft something. There's a lot of lava here. Unless you already have one of the ships. Do you have a ship that's lava proof? I, I may. Why don't we find out? Oh, all right. There's so a dragon dinghy. The dragon here. dinghy. That's, that's, that's pretty much the best one. So hop on that guy. So you can <laughs> no, craft it's not. the dragon dinghy. Oh, it is. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> uh, you can craft the dragon dinghy um, at the crafting station near Saltwater Sam in the hub. Um, I get an appropriate sail here. Those kegs. You, you keep talking. <laughs> You and uh, it is lava proof, much like the uh, galleon you can pick up in the store. Um, oh, you just undid it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> there, we go. there we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, see, if you're not on it, though, you are not lava proof. <laughs> despite having the. Uh, the Doge sail. Primordial <laughs> dragon. Um, so you can sail around in the Igneous Isles. And so, hey, we found a dungeon. Dungeons are great. Uh, Let's go in. Let's get some. True story. Fire gems. So. Every single layer, every single dungeon you do in the uh, elemental worlds are going to give you a box with some gems in it. And depending on difficulty, you are going to get rarer or less rare gems. TK M, wouldn't it be annoying to have to use a particular dragon? You don't have to use it, TK. It's like all dragons. This is actually a passive stat bonus. Once unlocked, you always get the bonus. Let's Oh, yeah, there's probably a sword there in there. I believe switch. in myself. Get that box, Adam. I'm getting you it. Get it. It's mine. Uh, you can totally get it. My quest. I deserve it. Oh, you yeah. got it. There you go. All right. So you I'm picked up a relic here. fire gem box. Nice. So let's check that guy out. Maybe we'll give yourself some more just so we can, you know, Hold open on. more than one. Hold on. Some dude's trying to tell me how it is. All right. All right. Now we're good. <laughs> okay. So tell me what to do. This. Should, Should I open this? Should I open add, this? Add a couple more where you can see the uh, path, maybe. Let's give yourself like a hundred. Books, gems, red, one hundred. Uh, we did also um, give buffs to some of our weaker classes with this update. Check out the patch notes. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but uh, some people have been asking for some things, and they're in there. All right, so go ahead. Um, so when you open uh, gem boxes, depending on the world difficulty you went to, they're different um, rarities. So this one is the relic one. Um, at common, you will get uh, red relics, uncommonly resplendent ones, and that of course means that rare is... Rare is better. Rare. Um, so whenever you open a gem box, you will get either some gem dust, which you can use to upgrade it, or a gem. I like that one. Um, gems can have one, two, or three stats on them when you open a box. In addition, they have different rarities that you can pick up. You can't cross rarities. You can never upgrade across rarities. So what you get is what you get. Um, however, you can level them up to give them additional power. Rarities influence how strong they are and also how what their max level is. So for example, you're mousing over this. It says level 1 out of 15. Mm -hmm. um, but go ahead and mouse over that one uh, respondent one you got there. That's power rank 84. 
and this one is 101. Right, and its max level is 18. Sweet. So yeah, that these are 15, and that's 18. So right. the higher the rarity, the more you can actually level it up. The, more you the higher the ceiling, that's right. one might say. So let's level some gems. First, oh, first I want to equip these bad boys so Ooh. that my... Uh, if my, they don't get good enough. Oh, that's a good point. So, good point, Andrew. These I'm precious just saying, resources. I'm just saying. So um, most of the time when you level up a gem, it's going to get a little bit of an additional stat bonus. Um, static amount, normal amount, uh, based on the rarity. However, at certain levels, 5, 10, 15, um, you will either add an additional stat up to a max of 3. Gems can even drop with 3, though. So if, what if you get a gem that drops with 3? It actually adds that amount of stat to one of your existing stats on the item. Uh, in this case, at, at level 5, Adam's going to add one stat. And then at level 10 and 15, it's going to massively bonus, boost um, one of the stats he has. So Sorry, I got impatient. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Um, well, like the, actually, hang on. Right now, you're living dangerously. Let's get you not to live dangerously, and we'll explain oh, why. Oh, I should probably use... You should use protection. Yeah, I should. Um, so, what's going on? Every, you, always. That's just good life advice. Um, uh. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Proceed, right now, Andrew. Um, so... There are different results you can get when you level up gems. Um, you can succeed, <laughs> you can fail, uh, which just consumes resources, you don't actually lose anything. Um, or you can double succeed, which means you level up twice, which is great, save a bunch of money. Um, or you can get a cracked gem. And so if you get a cracked gem, you have to buy a regenerator. And the regenerator is on the store for 500 cubits. It's not too pricey, but if you keep getting cracked gems, it's eventually going to add up. There you go, regenerator. Regenerator, I would like a regenerator. Would you? Well, it. just in case. That's I like, just want to show people. That's basically plan B. Anyway. It's plan B. Whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> There's kids watching. <laughs> they should know. This is important. You know what? You're right, actually. That's uh, that's the stance we're taking. Education um, first. <laughs> education first. So anyway. Um, Senior Fock is with it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you should really never need to buy a regenerator. Um, because you're, you're going to use a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, you're gonna use. Steve can definitely not put this on YouTube now. That's also my goal with a lot of this. He's yeah. like, look, no part of your stream is viable for YouTube. Yes. You can't do it. <laughs> anyway, um, so stop. <laughs> so you don't want crack gems, obviously. No, you don't. Right? Yeah. For a lot of reasons. Yeah. Mostly, it's a, cubits. They're a burden on you, you know, and <laughs> um, you're right. you have less free time. You can still sock it there, but I don't know how that fits in the analogy. Um, what's this But guy? what's it do? So we can say, see what it does. It's cracking, um, and it doubles also... level up chances. Oh, so as yeah. you continue to go up, your level up chance goes down. Um, and so this is basically worth the equivalent of resources um, as to what you're seeing right there, right? Like, so yeah. this is basically worth, when you press that button, 144 red dust and 20 funds. Yeah. But you can't have a cracked gem. That's right. Better boosters do more than that. So uh, the Jade Clover is very cheap. You can get it for cubits. You can get it for credits. Um, what's this But guy? what's it do? So we can say, see what it does. Red's cracking. Um, and it also... level up chances. Oh, so good. as you yeah. continue to go up, your level up chance goes down. Um, and so this is basically worth the equivalent of resources um, as to what you're seeing right there, right? Like, so yeah. this is basically worth, when you press that button, 144 red dust and 20 funds. Yeah. So you kind of want to use that later in the level up process. So early when, on, when your you failure want to use, chance is higher, right? When you're when more you're, likely to fail. This is going to. And when do the cost bigger, goes up, yeah. you want to start using some glittering horseshoes. Um, hey, thanks, Midnight. He's uh, hosting us for 57 viewers. Nice. 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 I saw him on the other day. Um, Thank he's you, gonna, sir. That's a lot. I think he's going to put out some demos. We might give him some extra resources uh, at least next week to show you guys more of the stuff as well. Um, <laughs> the only 100% effective way to keep a gem from cracking is to not upgrade it. That Correct, is... Super Bob King. <laughs> Andrew and I grew up in the Midwest. We have uh, received that instruction many That's times right. But then you don't, get, you don't get leveled up gems. No, you don't. Comes down Everybody to. wants to level up your gems. It's just a natural part of life is wanting to level up gems, <laughs> and you want to level up gems. So, you know, it's worth investing in, you know, a bunch of jade clovers. Yeah, that's right. So, where do you um, get the boosters? You know. So, where do you get the boosters? Thank you. That's why mm. Robin <laughs> asked the good question. All right, so where do you get boosters? Let's go ahead and open up the store. Um, so, Yes, you can get boosters for credits. Uh, if you choose to buy individual boosters, jade clovers, glittering horseshoes, you can scroll down. One credit. You can see ten jade clovers are one credit 50, per, 50. super cheap. These are five. And then the better ones, which we didn't really even show off, diamond we dice, lapis luck bug, are actually pretty pricey. 75. Oh, and then, s yeah, these uh, are just 75. at bulk, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead and scroll up, though. There's a better way to do this. Every time. Is there? There is. There is the gem booster box, which is available for both credits and cubits. 
Um, also, as contests go live, which we'll talk about next week, um, you can get additional booster boxes from contests. Great. Maybe I should open some of those. You should open some of those. And the packs, the pre-order packs for Head Start of Mantle of Power, um, those are also... Ten so you, you just open that, you got ten glittering horseshoes. Uh, Ooh, at Uncommon, you got three, and that's 75 credits per, so that's totally worth it. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. Um, you can also get a thousand uh, gem dust, which is very wow, that's useful. Pretty, that's pretty good. Or 50 jade clovers, so plenty 50, of those. Ten, a thousand water dust, a thousand air dust. Thousand so you can spend, this is something to spend your cubits on. So um, this system's largely for end game players, so uh, a lot of people end up getting a lot of cubits they don't have a reason to spend. Um, so basically, every day you can log in, you can pick up one of these gem booster boxes, open it, um, and get something useful you can use towards upgrading your gems. I think I am gonna try this thing as my upgrade option. Since so I what just does that got do? three more lapis luck bugs, it's maybe a little foolish to use ten it such times a low level. double level up chance and a two times normal level up chance. I, I really want a double level up. That's what I want. I want. It. Oh, oh, double level. Was that a double level up? I don't even know. I don't know. No, it just no, added it was, a stat. It was, it, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. added a stat at level no. five. You got one point three percent critical exciting. hit. Do it again, do it again. Good. That is good. I'm going to keep doing it. Again. So you level up again? I'm still using the Lapis Luck Bugs. I want the doubles. I want the doubles. Come on, Lapis Luck Bug, help me out. So, Vachango asks, what about identical gem rarity and bonuses having different power ranking? If the, if the item stats look the same, they should have different power ranking. Um, let me know if that's not true. Um, different gems can have different power rankings because they can roll on a range. So when they drop and when they hit those 5, 10, 15 breakpoints, they roll on a range. So they can actually have different stats, um, even at the same rarity. All right, we're going to keep leveling this with the luck bugs attached. Oh, I fail. I fail. Um, Dunami asks, word. rumors of stellar like empowered that. and stellar rarity regular gems. They are totally true, Dunami. Stellar regular gems are rare results out of the dropped boxes from uh, Uber 9 Worlds. And um, stellar empowered gems are uncommon results out of the empowered gem boxes. I'm not even lessening. I'm, yeah, I'm still, I'm still leveling this gem up. Leveling up is fun. I'm using all of my illicitly summoned. Oh no! Okay, it's at oh, the. Oh, you're out of gem dust. I'm out of gem dust. How can that be? You got some red boxes. You should. You know what? I did actually, and and as I understand, these can turn into gem dust. Oh, they do. Yeah, if you deconstruct uh, gems you don't want, happens. they turn into gem dust of the appropriate mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. Got a little more dust, a little more dust, a um, little more dust. So what else? Right. So uh, we have empowered gems, and so empowered yeah, gems one. actually come from somewhere totally different than drops. But we'll get to that in a minute. Adam's having too much fun leveling up. All right, well, here, let's just show Let's show how good... Oh, wait, yeah. You know what? This gem has gotten pretty good now. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. We should I think drop that in it. and boost our Primordial Dragon. Doop. So uh, gems do cost socks. Socks. Socks to unflux them later. Uh, to unsocket them later, they cost flux. And so uh, you're kind of like, you're not fully locked into a class, but you don't get to keep moving gems around to all your different classes all the time. You have to commit at least a little bit. Yeah. So you can see here the uh, Zahadin, Heart of the Flame. He's now got uh, some more stats on him. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, he's got, a lot better. He's got 10% uh, um, Oops. Of uh, this one plus that one, and this one's not even upgraded yet. So Farouk asks, cool. "Will we be able to change the stats in gems?" You will not, Farouk. Mm -hmm. What you get is what you get. Gems are unlike equipment; they are set when they drop. They are set when you upgrade them. They are completely set. And so some gems are going to be a lot better than others, even at the same rarity. Um, so go. You you can farm like really. Uh, the the basic gems are gameplay. Uh, entirely. Um, so you have to go to the world, you have to get them through playing the game, and there's a lot of uh, variation in there. Yeah, that's what you want. The Draconic. SS <laughs> Draconic. All right, what, what should I be showing next? We have so two that more was, dragons. We do have two more primordial dragons. We do. And we have Shmeeps. And we have some Shmeeps. Oh, we got so many Shmeeps. Wow. Yeah, um, so we got more dragons, but we should do Empowered Gems real quick, just to, okay. you know, wrap this whole thing up. All right, that sounds um, good. A lot to talk about today because we have Mantle Power ready. This is on PTS right now. You can log on. You can check it out. Um, PTS question. I can't buy everything on PTS or anything, really. That is true. We want to test the progression of this system. We want to te test the fun of being free to play. Um, that is important to us, and we want to make sure that is um, fun to do and we get the right numbers in there. So, um, yes, you will go on there, you will play the game like it's a real game, but that's the kind of feedback we're looking for. If you're not interested in that, wait for it to go live, and then you can skip everything by paying us money. Nah, just some things. Hmm. Um, all right. All right, what do we got? Um, so, Empowered Gems, eh? So, Empowered Gems. So, Empowered Gems. Do you know how to get Empowered Gems, Adam? 
Yeah, you I, just uh, I think I'm pretty sure I opened this Empower Gem Vault <laughs> is what I do. That is, but where, yeah. do you, where do you get that Empower Gem Box? I don't know. You're going to have to remind me, Andrew. All right. I will remind you. So uh, Lunar Souls turn into Empower Gem Boxes. Oh, that's right. Lunar Souls. We talked about that. You turn a Lunar Soul into an Empower Gem Box. Lunar Soul. One so Lunar Soul? On one Lunar Soul, one box. Uh, the other place to get them, and we will talk about contests more. Contests are planned to go for full launch right now, the 26th of Mantle of Power. Um, contests will be going out. Those are weekly leaderboards. Um, some are uh, based on static numbers like mastery and power rank. Um, some are based on stats that you earn over a week. Um, but you will also be able to earn some power gems through that. Finally, some deals in the store, such as the packs you can pick up for pre-order, do have empowered boxes, but they are not easy to get even there. So empowered boxes are limited, tough to get, but give you the best, some of the best gems in the game. You can only have three empowered gems. One for each elemental type, but... Um, they go into these big slots. They go into the big slots. So let's open some boxes. Oh, also, forgot to mention, Empowered Gem Box, that's where you get the Primordial Dragons. The Diamond Dragon Egg is a rare result out of this box. I got a Stinging and Curse. it is crafted into the Primordial Dragon of your choice. I got a Stun Burst. So you're picking you're picking up some common. I got a Mired Mojo. So, so each of these, powers. yeah, each of these always have a power. Uh, they they apply, uh, you know, maybe more to a ranged class, maybe more to a melee class, but they tend to be applicable uh, for, for pretty much everybody in one way or another. So, for instance, the Explosive Epilogue, mentioned that before, causes enemies to explode when they die. Uh, the Stinging Curse uh, applies dots to things that you damage. Let's see, where's a guy? There's a guy. I'm going to put a dot on him. Check your phone. What does a dot stand for? A damage over time effect. Oh, 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 he also exploded. Sorry. Yeah, and Dude, he exploded. Other and he exploded. Yeah, so you always have these multiple effects. Here, let's see. Let's see, how about a Mired Mojo? That's a good one. I replaced it. Um, let's make a bat. Oh, that's right, I have God Mode on. You're going to kill me? Buff. Black. Oh. Burp, burp. That's cool. All right, so uh, Mired Mojo, when you get hit uh, with a cooldown. Oh, God. It's going to kill me. With a cooldown, uh, an internal cooldown, when you get hit, it will uh, spawn out a Nova effect of these snaring spider projectiles. They do damage and they snare things. Uh, and there's a lot of other effects like that. Uh, we don't want to run through all of them, do we? Stun no, burst we works similarly. Why don't you also, let's see if we get right. some other stuff. Right, I'm going to do that. So there's something else that comes out of here. Ah, oh, and it's the first open. The class gem the class key. Gem key. Mm. So let's go use Last this, page. actually. Where'd it go? Last um, somewhere in there. Oh, you had one already. I had one. There it is. Cheater. So she already had one. Just in um, case. So class gem keys, uh, what does it say on that class gem key? What does it say? It says, use this key on an Everdark Vault. Everdark Vaults appear in the shores of the Everdark after winning a battle in a Colosseum. This key grants a stellar empowered gem with a class ability based on the class which uses it. So what that means is you go to the shores of the Everdark, you do a mighty battle in a coliseum. Let's go do it, man. There's a chest that comes out of it. Uh, I, should, I guess I should go through a portal, yeah, shouldn't I, from the hub. Jump to the hub. Uh, and then after you defeat your deadly foes, you will be able to use your key on the chest. If you want, at that moment, you could switch to a different class and get the class gem for whichever class you choose with the class, the class key. But when you use the key, it is consumed, of course. So you have to choose wisely. And these are fairly difficult to get. But the class gems are the most interesting abilities, the most specific ones. That looks pretty shadowy, don't it? Power rank I don't have enough power rank. Actually, someone asked if the sigil changes, so this is good. Yeah, there are, there are some additional show. sigils. So you can use uh, ASM power rank, actually. Really? Yeah. I was thinking I should just upgrade some gems. <laughs> uh, not seeing anything. Cam is gone. Damn. Yeah, there we go. The sigil didn't change. Well, not, well, with, the, not with a fake, gem. not with a fake like adding a stat. I think. Okay, well, this is pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. I'm gonna re-god myself here. All right, it's a pretty scary place. Whoa! So we've we visited this in previous streams, but as usual, like you should definitely go hug those nice blue eggs that are definitely just friends. Just go check check that thing out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> So I'm looking for a mighty coliseum, some place where I might want to do a boss battle. <sighs> that looks pretty promising. Go. Oh, we should definitely show the uh, the new Stellar R as well, for sure. Good okay. point, Margosha. Um, there's been a lot of questions about what that thing is. We should show you. Let's see. I guess I should 
find an entrance to this place. Huh? Worlds. Can we have more bees? We need more bees. <laughs> um, there is a bee stellar aura, not live yet. <laughs> oh, to go with the Nick Cage hat. <laughs> oh, the head, yeah. yeah. Not oh, the we bees! Done that. <laughs> Missed Still opportunity with True Face Nick Cage and the bees. Is there, a, <laughs> is there an entrance to this bad boy? Uh, it's on one of the sides. <laughs> The last there we one. go. Always. Okay. So this is pretty scary. Will we be able to put gems on the marketplace? I'm glad you asked, because the answer is no. Actually, nothing about the gem system is in the tradable economy. Uh, everything is personal progression with gems. So what's all happening about here it. is there's going to be invaders. Lots of invaders will spawn. we got some new invader types here. Your biggest enemy will be your brain, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Since you're god mode. That was very well said. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm throwing big bombs. Uh, yeah, if this... two different element gems have the same thing, they will not stack. Uh, you uh, need to spread it out. What is happening? I'm getting destroyed and there's magnet These are not super designed for solo players? Yeah, these are definitely players. Groups. <laughs> you would die by now. You've got to be good to beat these. Oh, I don't think I'm buffed. I think that, that would help. Oh, that would definitely help. Yeah. You're, you're magneting me too far. Uh, you know, Radiant Auras are Radiant Auras, Exiled White Mage. Uh, Stellar Auras are completely new types of Auras. Uh, TK, um, right now on PTS, yes, you can always run away. Um, we have some changes coming in for these, so you can't just kite this event. Uh, you will actually have to fight it. So many minions and turrets and things. Okay, oh, bring all some right. friends. I think I won. You did, but that I opened. think I won. Oh, it's an Everdark Vault. Huh, it opened open. So that's, that's a problem. Yeah. Well, let's see if it still works. Oh, that's not... Yeah. <laughs> so let's <laughs> so go ahead and... Um, these are actually personal, so everyone gets their own, and you have to use a key on it. So you would use this key, we're gonna see if it works. You are net eligible. Oh, I need to give myself more power rank. That might be why I opened it open. Alright. Now I have enough. I'm going to use the key. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There you go. Ooh. What? So you used up the key and you got a balk bomb. I got the balk bomb! So oh, the nice. box. And chicken skill things for you. <laughs> so yeah, so you, you switch to the class you want to get the uh, power for. You use that key on one of those vaults in this world, and then you get a random gem. So it is going to always be a stellar gem, uh, but it will have random stats, uh, random amount, like any other gem. So you definitely want to keep opening more to get the exact... Your bomb, bomb is a chicken bomb, and it spawns chickens. And chickens kill things for you. <laughs> so yeah, so you, you switch to the class you want to get the uh, power for. You use that key on one of those vaults in this world and then you get a random gem. So it is going to always be a stellar gem, uh, but it will have random stats, uh, random amount, like any other gem. So you definitely want to keep opening more to get the exact one you want. But it will um, always have that but effect. But it will always have that effect on it, um, based on the key and the class. Okay, so maybe we've teased the other primordial dragons. Yeah, well now that you have some gems of all kinds. Uh, That's right. What else? Maybe let's go to the hub again so you can kind of see things a little bit better. Oh, you don't like the emo uh, it's world? It's a little shadowy. Emo angry world. A little dark, world. maybe. It's great for what it is, but, you know. <laughs> All right. So the first one we mentioned was the red fire primordial dragon. The next one I'll we'll talk about is this one, Scintilla, Spark of the Sky. So Scintilla cool is the effects. rare, yeah, very cool. Scintilla is the rare air type dragon, primordial dragon. Uh, Scintilla flies faster than anything else in the game and applies an effect behind it, like a tailwind effect that you can see here, that speeds up other players and brings them to uh, fly at the same speed that Scintilla flies at. So, uh, kind of leads the pack, brings people where uh, she wants to go. Yeah, so this Pretty is the bro neat. dragon. It really just helps everyone. The bro out. dragon, that's right. <laughs> if you want to be Pretty a team cool, player... Pretty cool um, looking, but otherwise normal shot. This is your dragon. And it, like the other ones, gives a 10% passive benefit to from the uh, air gems. So you unlock this one. Getting some health and health regen That's from right. that, uh, that block bomb. And let's see the other one, which is Keatsy's personal favorite, is the water type primordial dragon, Palashian, Soul of the Sea. So, what do you think this one does? Uh, give our engineers a heart attack? Yeah, it does really that. Fast. It definitely does that. Swims really fast through the through the air. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Swim in the water? 
This one creates oh, cool. water explosions. Little bottles. Everywhere it shoots. And this is the part that makes engineers go, so What are you doing? We might have to do some adjustment What here. are you I doing? Want, I want to caveat this. We are joking. We might have to tune this. Um, we're going to keep an eye on it uh, as it goes out. But if it turns into making ice or something uh, before it goes live, that's why. We're hoping that the cool. rarity of it will right. uh, gonna, uh, make it so there's no it server so problems. It's not going to exploding awesome waterfalls. These are intended to be rare. You, you might not see getting one of these dragons could take you months to get one. These are long term rewards for uh, getting gems and farming gems. You will get more chances at getting them if you do better in contests and if you are able to farm harder difficulties of the Daughter of the Moon. Oh, it doesn't swim. Uh, okay, so let's show off the last, let's show off the yeah, stellar Yeah, maybe it should act like a boat also. Um, it should boat as well. <laughs> okay. And so if you upgrade stellar gear, um, there's, an, there's another type of key, titan, anyway. I do in a second. Go check it out on the PTS. Um, upgrading the stellar equipment is, uh, we are running out of time. So huh. um, you have, this is the default stellar R you get on any piece of equipment. So uh, do you know you have the other ones unlocked? Uh, uh, I don't know. The Revenant, if you switch to Revenant. Um, well, they should be unlocked uh, by default. So let's go. Let's see if you got them. Let's go open your cornerstone. Yeah, really. um, we'll look at the enchanted bench, and if you don't, we'll unlock them. Easy. You're hoping I have a cornerstone. You are not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do. I think it's. Oh, this is with the boots on it. What? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, do you have an enchanted bench? Yes, there you do. Is. Right there. That explosion, though. I know. So go ahead and put your hat in there and change it over to sorry. the. Sorry. 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 Aura modifier. Uh, is stellar, change, there we go. Let's change Radiant Aura. Oh, you're right. Is there a different change Stellar Aura? It's, yeah, it works. It, it should just say yeah, Aura, right? Yeah. Just, now it should just say change Aura. Aww, that's so cute. All right, let's, see, let's keep going. We're going we're gonna to try to get to the, the moon and sun. All right. Oops, that's not what I want. <laughs> I don't know what to click. Some that's of these. pretty cool. Neon Nemesis. Some frosty, frosty effects coming out of your face. And sun, sun and moon. moon. That's that it. All right, so let's, let's pull off. That's so this is fun. the one that comes in the top gem pack. Um, it's the only place to get it. It is currently planned to be the only place to get it. Um, occasionally, we, you know, we put things in packs, and this is one of those. So if you want this Stellar Aura, which, again, you need a piece of Stellar gear before you can show it off, but I'm sure you'll get there. Um, we believe in you. We do believe in you. This is the one you're going to get. It's beauteous. Beautiful in every way. Awesome. Okay. What's next? We have Whoa, we got so much stuff. All right, why don't you okay. go show off some schmeeps? Right. We are down to like 25, 20 minutes here. Yeah. Um, Should I do some giveaways and you do questions? Yeah, let's do giveaways. I'll do questions. Adam's okay. going to show schmeeps. These are all team effort. You can see who they're designed by, so maybe just call them out as you go. Fried right. sushi, the okay. base one. Um, these start dropping in oh, Uber 8 and above, like pen blocks do, and then you can craft a whole bunch of them. I am gonna be rolling for carpets, ten of them. Carpetos. Huh? Nothing. Uh, the first carpet winner is Arkansanoidso. Hope I got that right. Kevin BBX, get a carpet. Trying to get a good. That's not good. Nano Nani Forty Five. Sorry guys, I'm failing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go through some schmeeps. All right, that's the basic schmeep. Basic, you know, still awesome. But regular. Uh, the next one is the Schminty Schmeep, also made by Fried Sushi. Very ice creamy. That melting still makes me uncomfortable. I know, it's like, is I it know. dying or what? <laughs> I like that one. Like, I always thought it was drooling. It's like, it's gonna it's gonna be gone soon. It's, it's like, it's like, save me. It's like frosty, nah, we're going to lava. Snowman world. All over again, man. We're going I'm lava. I'm gonna have to go back to therapy. <laughs> J Man 12390, you get a carpet and E T Enco. And Enco. 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 This is the skeletal schmeep. Tox made this one. T A U X. Look, it's got a sword jammed in its face. It's also got like one foot is gone. Oh, nice. All right, what else do we have here? Gekosaurus Rex, you get a carpet. The lava basted <laughs> lamb. That one's super good. Probably delicious as well. Kyojin nice 07, you get a carpet. Nice and medium rare in the middle. Tronilla, you get a carpet. A shuculent schmeep. I, really, I like this one a lot. Mm. A shuculent schmeep <laughs> with the with the <laughs> uh, yeah it, with the little uh, with the, the what do they call them uh, flower pot shoes flower pot shoes yeah look at his look at his feet his feet are flower pots oh, yeah. Danami, everyone saw that <laughs> what, did, what did everyone see um, I didn't see oh well maybe no one saw it 
The last two carpets I saw it. are Skyfoon and Original Unity. Congrats, you guys. What else do we have here? Uh, the Lampooning Lamb Shade. This is a, a shmeep that is pretending to be shadowy. He's like, look, bros, I'm a shadow sheep, bro. For reals. Let me into your shadow club. I hope I'm not like, spinning the camera around too fast. <laughs> We're getting, getting vertigo. Sick. The Shrubbery Shmeep. Who did this one? Malambit. Thanks, Malambit. And Krabby Maddie did the Shuculent Shmeep. And so did Krabby Maddie also did the Lava Base of Lamb. I'm sorry, I didn't call this out at all. Uh, Shrubbery Shmeep is from Sinzix. Shrubbery Shmeep. That's cool. That's pretty. It's so cute. It's got bees. It's got BV effects on it. X Snowcat says they're training this game to complete MMORPG. Oh, and then he says, um, so forget about sandbox <laughs> features. X Snowcat! She's, oh, look at this. It's a that's seed. Good. It's a seed sheep. Oh, that's, oh, great. that's funny. <laughs> um, we always focus on one part of the game at a time. We did PvP uh, last time around. Before that, we did a bunch of builder stuff. Um, we are starting work on some social and club features next, um, including some builder improvements for clubs. Um, we actually even have a terraforming update in this one. We do smaller things for different groups of players in different parts of the game, but we like to stay focused. We like to do big updates. I know it can make it feel like we don't love you, but we do. We um, do love we you. We just change our focus over time to make sure we do a good job in one area. The onboard RAM from Taux as well. Pretty good. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny joke. Here's the sagacity yak from Fried Sushi. Get it? Also melting to death. Cool. The sky schmeet. Oh wow! Whoa! That's, oh, that's cool. Day and night. Yeah, day and night, and uh, like sun and moon. Hey, it kind of goes with your aura. Oh wow! That the effects too. That is cool. Man, Look at that. It's got, we got like star. On that we got, one. Yeah, we have like star uh, cool. star sparklies on the um, left and sun shining on the right. That was also from Fried Sushi. Great. And the last one, the sh uh, Schwag Schmeet from Krabby Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> with, I love the gold tooth on that. With is it two, Schwag yeah, or a gold, Schwab? a gold Booty. tooth, and two two peg legs. This this, this <laughs> sheep has uh, seen some some stuff in his life. Um, so we have to do yeah, unboxing. Probably. We have to answer questions. This stream just had too much stuff in it today. Should we do chaos uh, coins. Uh, oh yeah, and we also have a couple uh, extra life. So guys, the extra life things going on right now. Um, I w I want to say this would be obvious, but I think it wasn't obvious enough. Um, yes. There's a legal statement on there that we we give up to a certain amount. Um, we are we are we are giving half, right? Basically half of what you guys put in, uh, we donate an extra life, which is awesome. Um, so if we hit that point, if we need to, we will increase it. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole deal with that. Um, oh, you're showing off the new centaurs. Centaurs. Also work the same way as pen blocks. They're dropped in game, totally tradable. Um, but these guys only drop in Uber 9. So where Shmeeps start dropping in Uber 8 and above, Centaurs drop in Uber 9 and above. So uh, get good if you want a Centaur. That's so epic. It's the, this is the uh, Deb. I'm talking to Deb. This is the, the magical, magical girl outfit on the Revenant <laughs> with the magical Centaur. <laughs> that is legit. Um... <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. <laughs> You're very pretty. Do you want to do? Uh, let's do chaos coin. Are we, are uh, we yeah, we, get, we gotta roll the dice. Uh, do die chaos coin, Adam. Uh, yeah. Do I have a? I don't yes, think I have a do. dice. I've been in playtest this whole time. Do I have a die? Yeah, first page. First page. Where? Oh, yeah. oh no, you don't. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> no. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's the, the level of booster. <laughs> Other one. Uh, anybody remember where the die lives? Nope. Hmm. Uh, I guess That's we don't snap. get to roll the dice. Maybe we, we don't sell um, them, do we? <laughs> no, they're not in there. They used to be. You have to craft them. Forever ago. Hmm. 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 Uh, I, want to see I could jump on the... Uh, why don't you guess a number I'm thinking? Well, you get, psh, there's got to be a better Zero. way. 100. Zero. Zero. There's got to be a better Nobody way. Nobody gets RG. one. Uh, it's, on, it's on the Fun Factory. Um, the fun you factory. can unlock it Do straight up from there. Uh, either way, we'll just play a little game. We'll go. Let's go on live. So, um, where were we, where actually were we going to do the club thing before you go anywhere? You can go to the snot. Oh okay. yeah, uh, I should make a club card at the builders. Okay, building. so builders crafting bench. Where is the, the builders crafting bench? I go to the club first. Oh, go to the club. Yeah. That's right. 
Burp, burp. I sorry, I it's did cool. not register what you just said, Andrew. It's not to the Twixler, 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 or snot. Okay, it's not all right, incorporated. all right, cool. Am I <laughs> going to regret this? No, this is our uh, live stream club. The pillow is upside down. The pillow. You're ruining. Oh, I'm ruining the everything. Of the universe. So we have to start over, right? Yeah. Welcome oh, to the stream. Old pillows upside yeah. down. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, oh, there, there's a fun factory in here somewhere. I'm sure. There's a fun factory. First, I'm going to make a die. Sorry, you're going to have to wait. Oh, there it is. How about that one? Bam. Bam. Okay. Uh, and then what do I want? The builder's crafting bench, right? That is the one with the cork board. Do, do, there we go. So I want to make a club <laughs> Twixler, you were on top for something with leaderboards. <laughs> yeah, Am she I? forgot to turn off her GM uh, level, right? Oh, good. Oh, that one day? Yeah. yeah. Good. Oops. Good. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm going to make a club, apparently. What? Well, hang on. Oh, no, okay. No, I'm sorry, we're doing, I was we're doing this as, like, this is not like a... We're going to roll a die. We're going to explain what's going on. So okay. they should understand... All right, first I'll roll here we're so going that to enhance she can roll meaning, yes. chaos coins. Yes. Such like... All right, I'm going to get a good spot to do it from. Don't put it in the water. You only have one die. <laughs> Just regret. So it's uh, four plus this number, right? Four plus mm -hmm. this number. If it Jeez. ever stops. Four plus three. Seven. 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 All right. Okay. Seven kids. Yes, coins. <laughs> you guys know what they are. We're not explaining it. <laughs> we don't got time for no. explanations. In case you were ordering, uh, you chaos coin increase your chaos coin. <laughs> Cody seven okay. X. You get the first right. coin. So what do you want from me, Andrew? You tell me. So what we're gonna do is this is the unboxing feature every day, and this is. Intended to be palatable for newbies. We may even oh. split it off to be its own little YouTube thing. Did you put on your tie? Uh, not yet. Okay. I'm, I'm explaining a box. Well, I guess I can explain a box. Yeah, you should put on your professor my tie. <laughs> tie. So this is this is my costume change for unboxing. So now you know that I'm teaching you something. Uh, so, Adam, you're going to run through it. Uh, you can call out if I'm missing something, but we're going to do it pretty straight. Um, for you people who already know everything about Trove, I am sorry. But <laughs> we are going to assume that someone out there doesn't know. I'm going to explain something. Maybe you'll even learn something. It's like Sesame Street. Um, <laughs> like numbers. I didn't know about numbers for a very long time. So the first thing I did here. All right. So um, so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about clubs. Uh, clubs in Trove, what they are, how you use them, what you can do with them. <coughs> That's I good. always have dirt pies. That's good, Robin. <laughs> and we're talking about dirt pies. <laughs> All right. So Adam. Yes, proceed. Where do we start with clubs? <laughs> Uh, well, you start at the builder's crafting bench, Andrew. The first thing you do is you go to your builder's crafting bench. You click on the club world <laughs> section. Steve's never going to be able to use any of this. I know. Anyway, right? let's <laughs> keep doing it. Uh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> so, if so you, you want to make a club, a club I'll do it boring, I guess. If you want to do a club, uh, want to make a club, do some club-related activities, the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, make yourself and place a builder's crafting bench. At your builder's crafting bench, you're going to open your club world tab, you're going to select club card, and you're going to craft that guy. It costs 100 formicite, 300 shape stone, and 100 glim to craft. I did that already. I'm sorry. I jumped ahead of the game here. We're allowed to do that. Now yeah. that we have a club card, jump is a stat in our game. I think we're supposed to do that. So now that we have a club card, uh, what we want to do is we use it to create a club. Like, say... Ellery likes celery. Ellery likes... Celery Club, right? <laughs> you don't spell it with two L's. It's I it. like it. Um, well, I believe in spelling things correctly, so uh, unlike some of us. You're an English major. That's right. <laughs> so now that you have your Ellery Likes Celery Club, uh, you can go ahead and click it to yeah, go there. let's go there. You can so see you can, you, you can be a member of up to five clubs, yep, yep. which is pretty awesome. Uh, every club has its own world. It has its own chat. And uh, it has its own membership. So you can invite other people. Like, it's not a club. Clubs for one are just sad. They're not that cool. They're sad. This here is a club for one. You can see that a club starts with not very much space. You can be space. in a club for one if you want. Yeah. We won't judge. Yeah. You can be in the Ellery like Celery Club. Uh, you can see it starts small. You can terraform to make it larger. Uh, I'm going to go to a little bit more interesting club here. Well, yeah, and so uh, what terraforming is, is there is a uh, Don't station. Don't dare terraform in there. The World Spring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, you can't. Uh, where you can craft terraformers. You terraformers should, basically expand joking, you your land mass in your world. Uh, they're relatively expensive to craft, but if you want more places to build, craft terraformers. But it's a little advanced. You don't necessarily need to do that. But no. let's say you've done it. So have you done it here, Robin? Yeah. In this world of yours. So let's open the map. Let's look at it. She's oh, terraformed, she terraformed a little bit. 
Um, so what you can do is once you terraform a zone, portal over there, I think. Uh, you can also give different people permission to modify that. So let's say you are no, no longer in Club for One. I don't know. Is this Club for One? No. Um, there's other people in it. Let's, yeah. look, at, let's look at the club list. The, uh, there's a little arrow there. Right here, right? It's not, yep. it's not. That's right. It's not incorporated. So, and then show, show offline line. members. Boom. There we go. So you are in this club with Dope Sheet. Um, see their ranks. Wizza, Dev Guy. So let's let's go ahead and close this guy out. Really? I wanted to, to you know, maybe... Promote someone? You can promote I was gonna, someone. Let's I was going to demote Dope Sheet. Let's promote uh, Dev Guy. Really? Let's make them... I would really rather demote Dope Sheet if uh, I had we'll any choice. We'll get to that. We should kick the Dev Guy. So okay. uh, <laughs> everyone starts as a member. Uh, members can't do anything. They can hang out. Oh. Um, they can build in some non-restricted areas, but mostly nothing. They you know, chat. Um, but let's say you promote him. Okay. I think Dev Guy has been doing some really good work lately. Yeah. yeah. He's taken on new responsibility. I think he's ready for a promotion. What is he now? Oh, he's an architect. architect. Woohoo. Wow, did he go to school for that or, you know, nope. I don't know. Anyone can be an architect. Learn, learn on the job, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wear a hard hat, be an architect. So <laughs> architects uh, generally have more permissions. They can build more areas that you've given them permission to, um, hence being an architect. Um, so we'll show you how to give permissions in a moment, but basically on a per zone basis, you can decide what ranks in your club can build in certain spots of your club. So let's say Dev Guy has been doing really, really good architectural work lately. You know, and people respect him. He's leading some projects. Maybe he needs another promotion. Right. What does yeah. he become after that? Oh, I didn't click it right. There you go. Click again. Oh, he became an officer. So an officer would have like what? Powers. Powers. Authority. They, powers. they can invite people. They can uninvite people. They, they can, can go demote club dope sheet. Finally, <laughs> uh, except he's a leader, so he's too strong. Um, but they could, you know, well, Twix are can take care of that sort of sheet. club business. Plus, they can get access to uh, officer chests. There's multiple chests. You can build a member chest. Or an officer chest for storage, and also for, you know, now uh, trading illicit goods. Now let's say the dev guy here, the officer, right? Uh, the power goes to his head, right? He uh, he gets a little 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 crazy. Yep. He uh, he does some things that, that yep. the rest of the club does not approve of, and right. you just are forced to remove him. Wait wait, but how do you know he was doing bad things? That's well, I don't know. Ah, that I don't know question. actually. Well, let's answer that question. Maybe we should so, look at the club law. And caps matter, by the way. Oh, do they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you do slash. Club log. Slash club log and club then what? Space and then log. the name. What was his name exactly, Dev Guy? It's not Let's support. See. No, no, no. Oh, do you, can you do that? I think you have to do the club, not the person. Well, okay. Oh, is that it? Okay, well, tell me. Tell okay. me what to do. Slash club, club space log. log. All caps. All caps? Yep. No, no, no. <laughs> log space. <laughs> now all caps. caps lock on. It's not incorporated. Incorporated. Okay. Bam. Yeah, that's it. There wow. you go, so you can see That's everything. Right. So was he... Dope Sheet was promoted, demoted, promoted, demoted. So <laughs> there's been a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of... Wow. <laughs> of inter so this is what you guys struggle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dev Guy was promoted two times. Um, a little contention in there. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Some, some power struggle. A little attempted well, coup. <laughs> you know, bomb some moves in the world, so... Uh, <laughs> don't mess up this club. So what else can you do? You can you zone can restrict, restrict things? Access, yeah. yeah, so you can do zone restriction based on members, and those are basically the commands you can use from the slash command line. Okay. Um, so you can check your logs, and then you can also say, hey, I want this zone to be a free-for-all. You can do zone restrict member, uh, space, you know, that yeah. rank. And so this zone that I'm in right now... Anyone in your this club... This death island spot, yep. now anyone who is a member or above, which is everybody, can modify this and do yep. things to it. Yep. Like, no, that's not it. I want right. a bomb. Oh, like so. here we go. Well, while you're bombing, I'm going to name off the rest of the coin winners. Oh, Ruining yeah. it. Yeah, who won the coins? All right. Well, we have to... Uh... Cody7x, double, du double, double TW, Morgo Shah, Zabi LP, Black Evs, Mika, and Rai Bufka. Congrats, guys. Why don't we, um, Deb, bring us big. We're going to go on live. We're going to throw some pinatas. Um, we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going to host someone. We're going to give away some extra life packs. I'm going to answer, like, two questions. Sorry guys, mantle well, power is first. Just first, too I'm gonna. I want to show them that uh, I have the power and the authority to remove Dev Guy forever. Oh, you he's do. no longer a member. Maybe you shouldn't have messed up, Dev Guy. He's right there. He's your he's it said he's no longer a member. I don't. I don't believe this. Yeah, but he. Uh, ah, see, he's snap. gone. He's gone. Okay. Dev Guy. Truly, Adam. Ejected. How many extra lives are we giving away here? Uh, we got three codes for Extra Life. Okay. So the Extra Life pack, uh, as you guys know, has a bunch of good stuff, uh, a bunch of stuff we made for Extra Life. Um, going on main great charity. Like, we love, we support them every single year. Um, and in this case, we made, Kumar made a bunch of stuff, and we put it in the pack. We worked out a deal with them where they get half of the proceeds. 
um, and we have it at the store. So check it out in the store, limited time. Um, <laughs> you made dust. I'm going to go check out Edge of Abyss is what I'm going to do. All right, so the three extra life, like laugh, love, <laughs> pack winners are Bova Creeper, Skedaddle, and Tassas. Tassas? Tassas? Tassas. Um, questions. Uh, Batman always asks good questions. What is the new system that will speed up trove creation's process? So as we said, we are limited. Uh, we have limited resources. We always add new stuff from players to the game, but it does take time. Uh, we are adding new tools, though, for Kumar to basically be able to streamline his process. It's never going to be a whole lot more than we can even do right now, um, but we are generally going to be increasing it over time. And we are adding new tools, so uh, it will speed up a bit. You know, I, I wouldn't even say double, but we will be able to do more than we do now, and we want to keep supporting that and supporting him because he works very hard at doing that. Dare I even ask? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just ruining your good reputation. All right, uh, let's bring the game up uh, again, and we can see Adam destroying Robin's reputation <laughs> on live right now. He's basically dropping the F-bomb everywhere. <laughs> really kind of embarrassing. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, that's right, it's pinata time, right? <laughs> uh, I wanted to go check out StreamHards. Are, are we on? Is the camera? You're on the big screen. Yeah, oh, give us the game. Okay. You want the game? Give us the game. Give us the game. Okay. Please. Give us the game. You said you didn't want the game. We oh, want the game we now. To, we need to change. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dynamic thing that we do. But thanks, except, except Thank you. You want to be a friend? Yeah. Um, we only have a little bit of time, so Adam's gonna like. You're just like ruining my name. <laughs> just you're just dragging it. Through. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some pinatas to fix it. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're having fun here, but I am having fun. Like, in fact. I like rap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I am a hip hop. I think Donald enthusiast. Trump. <laughs> Donald. <the true, laughs> leader of America. <laughs> okay. Oh. And, uh, and Shadow. Shadow Yana. Oh, look at these guys. All right. They're all set up. <laughs> on it. Um, Robin, why don't you pull up, see who we should be hosting today? Do you have a plan? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's Great. in the... <laughs> <laughs> Executive decision. I like it. Okay, um, I want to go visit Stream Hearts. Oh, you know what? I do want to visit Aberrant Pants. Who That's doesn't? for sure. That's for um, sure. <laughs> I'm going to try to answer some more questions. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, Adam giggles. Sorry, I, I'm yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to the stream anymore. <laughs> this is you a, your own game you're this is sabotage now. time now. <laughs> Did you like my my? Red I red do red. actually. I like your outfit quite a bit. Thank you. It's very stylish, and the bow even fits really well. That's good. Very um, very nice. There's some stars next to some of these. What? So, <laughs> power, generally not trick. Sweet. <laughs> I feel like that sums up my life. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that's pretty good. Um. I would like. I would not like to join Trove's cancer at this time. Pain the Ripper. Maybe next time. <laughs> Pain the Ripper. Yeah. Right. Uh, what was the command? Join to go to Club World by name. Tell me uh, again. Join Club by name. Is it? Is that? Yep. By name. What was Scream Hearts Club Maybe World? You put the club in there, though. Scream Heart. Yell out your club in chat real quick. The one Edge that has dust in it. Edge of Abyss. It's also in the. You know what? I don't need your advice at this time. I think I'm good. Okay, you forgot. Club. I think I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I do. I'm lost now. Okay. Uh, what, what about the idea of mount abilities, Robin? Someone's asking about mount abilities. What's oh, up? what about mount abilities? We gotta call it. It's okay. time. Yeah, Adam, how many pinatas can you throw? You've thrown like two. Whoa, that's awesome. Dragon yeah, Jam. Yeah, these guys are. These All right, guys are cool. so uh, guys, we're gonna Shadow go black. Yadis. We're gonna Shadow host Yadis. someone. Uh, who are we hosting? Yule sorry, L, the Yule Loggers. I'm sorry, Screamheart. My bad. Um, dog. Thanks for watching. Mounts of Power's coming out. There's a bunch of great stuff we weren't even able to show today. If you want to know how cool it is, it's so cool we can't talk about it all in one one hour stream. All right, I'm throwing um, these until it goes dark. So Shadow Yadas. Until it goes dark. Shadow Yadas for the banana man. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll show you guys some contests. They will be really cool. It's another way to get gems, uh, maybe even chaos coins. We'll see if we go crazy. All right. Oh gosh, <laughs> I was reading it. Alright. Peace. Out. <laughs>